Mastering, it says, of one's mind is actually one of the most difficult endeavors that one can be involved with. And this is why so many people are afraid of it. And it says, according to the difficulty, so is the reward. What you have to do, however, is to always be concerned about today, not tomorrow. Why not make each day of your life into a masterpiece? You can start right now, today. You can be proud of yourself today and be your best. Every day of life is, if you think about it, in a sense, a microcosm of your entire life. You can live your whole life in one day, but life is now, not later on. You can, if you want to, later on decide what you want to do about other things. But this is where you are today. And the reason for it is because this is where your life is. In order to master your thinking, you have to focus on how unlimited your potential capacity is at all times. It says that the human mind contains infinite wisdom. But when you restrict and limit your thinking in certain areas because of directives that you've heard or that you feel, the wisdom that you'll gain and the restriction that you will put in yourself, for yourself, against yourself, are lacking the ambition and you're short-changing yourselves for no reason. You have to be intent on growing wise because you have the potential for it. And as it says, creativity and innovation are inherent in the unique personalities that God, the Creator, implanted in us. Whether you believe in God or not is irrelevant. It's the fact that you should believe in your capacities and your abilities to do so much more. Your major goals in life at this point may be too small or too vague. And if you don't know, ask yourself the questions. Do your goals excite your imagination? Do they motivate you? Are they clearly pictured in your mind? If the answer is no, then realize this. A lofty goal can transform you completely. You can be whatever you wish to be. But if you don't know, then these questions are going to trouble you. Do your goals drive you? Are they burning of desires? Are they obsessions to you so much so that you think that you can succeed and you know that you will? What would you seek to accomplish over the next year about what you want to do? Try to stay motivated long term. Your motivation has to come from within. And the way to master your mind is to observe its inner workings and learn, in a way, what you think about it. You can learn how to develop a clear vision of your own future and then effectively make it become a reality. It's all about you, and it's all about living today. You can become what you think about all day. And your soul and your mind and your body want to help you do that. So why not live today a full day? If you like what you've heard, please let us know by leaving a comment below. We would really appreciate if you would be kind enough to like, share, and even subscribe. Feel free to follow us on Facebook.